this technique. Um, some things that you need to know about the auto tweeners, particularly with dealing with uh, raw shapes. If you edit your shape with the white arrow, like doing like this kind of stuff, like that's all cool. You you know you can make some cool shapes doing that, um, and the auto tweener will still work after that, or not. Never mind. Okay, it didn't work. So yeah, there's that's kind of why you don't want to deal with this stuff. Basically, the way Flash works, it's kind of weird. When you edit with the white arrow, it turns it into multiple, uh, multiple like more vertices than you actually see. So when when I edited this one with the white arrow and made this little S-shaped curve, it actually probably turned that into three or four curves uh, in its sort of internal representation, and then on my auto tween commands it only has access to the internal representations well actually it has access to the to to what you see it can it can deal with the with the you know the, the more complex curves like those s shaped curves but when the auto tweener creates its new curves that are the in between of you know this one to that one flash for some reason converts it to be only its internal version and the inter internal version of the curves can only have a curve in one direction that's why with the with the black arrow you can only edit you can only create a curve in one direction um, so that's I think that's pretty much the uh, the deal with with raw shapes um, I'm sure that if you try this out you'll run into some weirdnesses everyone I've ever given it to has uh, just just that it you know it has some idiosyncrasies of of like how you have to deal with it oh uh, one th one thing I want to talk about on on the symbol tweens let's uh, get rid of these shape tween get rid of, get rid of these tweens um, one thing that you have to be aware of is that the tweener will only work on symbols that are at, of the same reflection so like if I ref reflect this one over to opposite of what it was, then watch what happens. I'm just going to do a 50% tween here. And this forearm didn't tween at all, and that's because it didn't find a corresponding one with the same reflection in the, in the following frame. Uh, one other point that I want to make is, like I said with the, with the happy face and sad face demo earlier, um, it can work with multiple symbols on one frame. So for instance, you can see in this in this file I've got her head on one frame, then her front arm and her front leg and her body and her back leg and her back arm. And I just do that because it's sometimes convenient to be able to select for instance the entire front arm and rotate it or something like that. Um, and so that's how I like to keep my my characters divvied up on frames and so of course with the normal flash tweens you can't do anything with that it'll it, you know it, it only works here on the head and the two legs because the two legs are just the thighs in this in this file um, so it's uh, the auto tweener is much more versatile in that sense I guess that's all for now if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I would love to talk about this further and give you any help if you if you have any difficulties with it. I just remembered a couple other things about the shape auto tweener that I need to tell you about. Um, the first is the two shapes have to have the same number of vertices, the the or original shape and the target shape. So like if I oops, if I do like this. So now this one has f five vertices instead of four. And I try to auto-tween that, then some weird things will happen. Um, now, the other thing is, and I was trying to uh, point this out earlier, but I, I 
my head was messed up. Anyway, uh, the other thing is when you edit with the with the uh, white arrow, and so you create some funky curves like this one. Um, the reason it screwed up before was because now there are internal to flash there are a different number of uh, vertices so you basically have to do the same thing again with uh, with the next frame so I'm gonna see if I can do the same thing oops so ac actually so so the okay here the the point I'll make here is the best way to deal with this is to start from the original shape and then edit it only with the black arrow. And this is what I was saying before. And you'll notice now there are three extra vertices once I started editing with the black arrow. And that's because those were the vertices that existed internal to Flash. And uh, now it should work since both shapes have internally the same number of vertices. And there it is. Um, and this is unfortunately just a problem with Flash that, that I'm I'm not going to be able to solve unless they fix this one bug in uh, in the uh, JavaScript interface, which maybe they will in in CS5. One can only hope. Anyway, that's all.